Now releasing all goblins. Nanka! Card Conduit is the best way to sell your unused magic cards. Whether you've got a box of unsorted bulk, or a complete and alphabetized set, there's a great option for everyone. With a payout averaging 19% better than using any one buy list, and that's after fees are applied, you can rest assured you'll get the best bang for your buck. If you're a skeptic like me, their easy customer service and detailed reports make the whole interaction transparent and safe. And if you use the affiliate link in the description below, or the promo code MTGMUDSTA, you'll save 10% off their fees. And 401 Games, Canada's one-stop shop for trading cards, board games, and hobby supplies. Not to mention an easy-to-use and great online buy list. And if you use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, your first purchase of MTG Sealed and Singles will be 5% off. And Dragon Shield, the strongest sleeves for your strongest deck. So be sure to use the code MUDSTA or the affiliate link down below to save 5% on your next order. Good news everybody, the Magali Villeneuve Kickstarter campaign is still going on, and it's going better than ever. We've unlocked every single stretch goal, which means in addition to all those beautiful playmats that we'd seen earlier, we've got a ton of new ones opening and to be voted on to unlock. With new art like Sarah the Benevolent, Death Shadow, and Ancestral Mask. Not to mention double-sided playmats, a 6-foot table-length playmat, and a 2-player double-sided playmat. You've got a ton of options to pick the beautiful art that would fit your style the best. Be sure to back this Kickstarter campaign using my affiliate link down below. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's patron shoutout goes to Andrew Harala. Much love to Andrew for supporting me on Patreon. In today's exciting game, we have Maxim, Felix, and Marie rejoining us. And we've brought some brand new decks from the Fallout series. I am, however, still testing out my Bernard deck, and I keep Wave Sifter, Island, Displaced Dinosaur, Yavamaya Coast, Tarnish Citadel, and Aristic Study. Felix is playing the Wise Mothman, keeping Two Swamps, Lanawar Wastes, Forest, Stitcher Supplier, Arcane Signet, and Jason Bright, Glowing Prophet. Max is playing his Discana deck, keeping Temple Garden, Exotic Orchard, Plains, Swiftfoot Boots, Bramble Familiar, Karmic Guide, and a Sky Knight Legionnaire. And last but not least, Marie is playing Caesar or Kaiser, and she keeps a Luxury Suite, a Plains, Bright Climb Pathway, Impact Tremors, Craig Boone, and Diamond City. Marie wins the die roll and starts us off. She draws and plays a Luxury Suite. Max plays a Tap Temple Garden. I follow his example, playing a Tap Green and White Land with a Thorn Glint Bridge. Felix just plays a Swamp. Marie's got a Plains for turn, and pays 2 for Impact Tremors. Max plays an Exotic Orchard, and then also pays 2 mana and casts a Bramble Sovereign. I display a Tarnished Citadel. Felix has a Forest, and he casts Arcane Signet. He then taps the Signet to cycle Ash Barons and passes. Marie drops a Swamp for turn, and pays 3 mana for Craig Boon, who as he enters, deals 1 to each of her opponents thanks to the Impact Tremors. Max draws, plays a Temple of Abandon, scries one, and bottoms it. He then casts a Sky Knight Legionnaire, and goes to combat, hitting Felix for two. I've got an Island for turn, and pay three for Aristic Study. Felix plays an Island, and then taps out for the Mothman. He can't pay the one, so I draw, and the table all get a rad counter. Marie draws, and then mills a non-land card, taking one and removing her rad counter from it, which in turn has Felix adding a plus one plus one counter to Mothman. She then plays a Diamond City, and taps out for Kaiser, letting me draw a card. She then passes turn. Max draws and mills his top card for the rad counter. It's a non-land, and the Great Henge to boot, so he loses one, and he loses the rad counter. Felix gets to add another counter to Mothman as well. Max then plays a Plains for turn, and pays 5 mana for Duskana, letting me draw from his commander thanks to Ristic Study. He then draws 2 as Duskana enters. Moving to combat, he swings the Sky Knight at Felix, which gets pumped by Duskana, and Felix can't block and takes 5. I draw for turn, and mill the Seed of the Synod, not losing my Rad counter. I then play a Command Tower for turn, and play Eleanor Gardener, making a food as she comes in. Felix draws and mills a non-land to his rad counter. This has them losing one and the rad counter and adding another counter to Mothman. He plays a swamp for turn and casts life from the loam, paying the one for my study tax. And he then casts a Stitcher Supplier, milling three. 
he hits some non-lands and gets to add another plus one plus one counter to the Mothman and to the supplier. Going to combat, the Mothman goes at me and the table gain a rad counter. I then take seven and Felix passes. Marie draws and mills another non-land, losing one and the rad counter and Felix puts another counter onto the Mothman. Marie then plays a tap so I triumph for a turn and she taps three for Bastion of Remembrance, making a human token as it comes in and dealing one to her opponents. She also pays the one for the study tax. Going to combat, she swings both Kaiser and Craig at Felix, getting an on attack trigger from both. She first reveals the Kaiser trigger, sacrificing the token, which has the Bastion draining us for one. She then makes two tokens coming in tapped and attacking, which has the impact tremors dealing two to her opponents. She then also loses a life and draws a card as she resolves the trigger. She then adds two quest counters onto Craig and blasts the Sky Knight. Felix then blocks Craig with the supplier to trade, but still takes four from her commander and two from the tokens. With the supplier dying, Felix mills three and adds a counter to the Mothman. With Craig dying, Marie drains her opponents once more and she then passes to Max. Max draws, Mills is one, hitting a scavenging ooze, losing a life and the rad counter while Felix continues to pump up Mothman. Max then plays a Naya Panorama for his land for turn and taps enough for an Arcane Signet. He then taps out for Karmic Guide. This brings back the Sky Knight as it enters and he moves to combat. He swings the Knight at Marie, who on attack gets pumped by Descana and deals five and he then passes to me. I draw and mill two, hitting two non-land permanents, taking two, and Mothman gains another plus one plus one counter. I then play a Flooded Grove as my land for turn, and play out Samwise Gamgee. I then evoke a Wave Sifter, making two clue tokens and a food token as it comes in, and then sacrificing it. Felix dredges back his life from the loam, adding a counter to the Mothman, and then mills for his rad counters, hitting a non-land and a land. This has him losing one and a rad counter, plus adding another plus one plus one counter to Mothman. He then plays Lanowar Waste as his land for turn. We then see a Jason Bright with him not paying the one, and I draw from the study trigger. Felix then recasts the life, getting three lands back, and pays the one for that. Going to combat, Mothman heads at Marie, and we all get a rad counter. She can't block it, and takes the hit, and Felix passes. Marie draws and mills her top card, hitting a non-land card and removing the rad counter, losing one, and Felix adds a counter to Jason Bright. She then plays a swamp for turn and goes to combat, swinging only one token at Felix. She gets her Kaiser trigger, sacrificing it, which drains us for one. She then makes two tapped and attacking tokens, dealing two to each opponent with the impact tremors, and her second mode from the ability has her losing one and drawing a card. Felix blocks one of the new attacking tokens with Jason Bright, but takes one from the unblocked one. With the token dying from being blocked, Marie drains us again for one. In her second main phase, she then casts Talisman of Conviction and passes. Max's upkeep has him paying the echo cost to keep Karmic God around, and he then draws her turn. He then mills a planes, keeping the rad counter. Max then plays a planes for turn, and he casts Kutzel. He then moves to combat and swings the Sky Knight at Marie, pumping it with Duskana and dealing 5, plus drawing a card from Kutzel's ability after it connects. With nothing else, he passes to me. On my upkeep, I cast Eldamri's Call, going to find Jahira to put to hand. I then draw for turn and mill my top card to the rad counter, which is a land. I then cast Jahira, making a food token from Samwise and then tap some food for green mana to help cast Birthing Pod. I do lose 2 life instead of paying the green Frexian mana cost though, and I then activate it and sacrifice Eleanor, going to find Rootwire Golem. As it comes in, I make a food token, and I then pass to Felix. Once more, Felix dredges back life from the loam, and gets to put more counters onto his creature from Mothman's ability, seeing Nonlands go into his graveyard. He then mills his 2 from the rad counters, hitting two non-lands and losing two life while adding more counters to his creatures. He then casts the World Shaper in his main phase. Going to combat, Max convinces Felix that my next turn will be too dangerous to let me live, so he swings the Mothman at me to take me out. 
With him attacking, everyone at the table gets a rad counter, and I then die once the Mothman connects. In his second main phase, Felix then casts Life from the Loam, returning three lands to hand and passing. Marie draws and mills a land. She then plays a Bright Climb Pathway for turn, and then casts Cathar's Crusade. Going to combat, she swings a token at max. This allows her to resolve Kaiser's trigger, sacrificing it and making two more tokens, which drains her opponents for one, and then deals two as two tokens come in from the impact tremors. She also loses one and draws a card. And with the tokens coming in, she also gets to trigger the Crusade, adding two plus one plus one counters to her team. Max then blocks one of the tokens and takes three. With the token dying, Marie drains her opponents once more. In her second main phase, Marie is then able to activate the Diamond City and puts the shield counter onto Kaiser and passes to Max. Max draws for turn and mills for his rad counters, hitting a creature and losing one, and Mothman adds a counter to the World Shaper. Max then casts his own Eldamri's Call, and he goes to put to hand Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. Max then casts Aurelia and goes to combat. He gives the Karmic Guide the plus two plus zero, which also gains Vigilance because it's white. He then swings it and the Sky Knight and Marie, and both of which get pumped by Descana. She can't block the Flyers, taking the hit and dropping a 9. Max also gets to draw a card from Kutzel. Felix untaps, draws, and then mills his 1 for the Rad Counter. He hits a non-land, losing 1, and adding a counter to his creature. Felix then cycles a Fetid Pools, drawing a card. 5 mana then gets him Marcus, Mutant Mare, and Felix then goes to combat. He swings Mothman at Marie, and the World Shaper at Max. This has everyone getting another rad counter, and Felix then mills three from his on attack trigger because of the World Shaper. Before moving to damage though, Marie taps two lands and two creatures to help Convoke cast a lethal scheme and destroy the Mothman. This also has her conniving on her token and Kaiser. Max then takes the hit for five, and in a second main phase, Felix then casts Reanimate, bringing back Zalix and losing three life. Marie on taps for turn, draws, and then mills two, hitting two non-lands. This has her losing two, and she loses her counters, and she then plays a basic in her main phase. Marie then taps five for Thalise Reverend Medium, and all of her opponents take one from the Tremors. She also gets to add a plus one plus one counter to all of her creatures, thanks to Cathar's Crusade. Marie then plays out a Keeper of the Accord, dealing one again, and pumping her team by another plus one plus one counter. Moving to combat, she swings everything at max, and gets her on attack trigger from Kaiser. She sacrifices the Keeper, getting to drain everyone with the Bastion, and then makes two more tapped and attacking soldier tokens, which deal two to her opponents with the impact tremors. She also gets to pump her entire board by an additional two plus one plus one counters, and we then move to blocks. Max blocks in everything he can to avoid the damage, and once combat's done, Marie passes through her second main phase to her end step, making two spirit tokens from Thalese. This deals two more damage to Max, and adds two more plus one plus one counters to her board. Max draws and resolves his rad counter, milling a non-land card and a land card, and loses one life. He then plays a tapped Jetmere's Garden, and recasts Toscana. This has him drawing two cards as she enters. He then moves to combat, giving the Sky Knight the Aurelia Pump, and swings all of his flyers at Marie. Marie stops to two creatures that don't have Trample, and drops to three. With the spirits dying, she drains Max for two, and knowing that he's dead to the crackback, Max scoops it up and we move to the next game. Game review time. This game was one hour, four minutes, and 21 seconds, and it was a lot of fun. I was really excited when Felix and Marie brought out their Fallout decks, because I was hoping to see them in action. They'd managed to tweak them a bit before bringing them over, so we got to see some upgraded versions of the precons. In Felix's case, I think Mothman is incredible, and it makes complete sense as to why this is probably one of the more popular of the four. I think rad counters are actually one of the best ways to mill, as by adding damage to it, you put a much faster clock on mill. Mardu tokens is great, and considering Kaiser didn't even have to attack, which is very fitting considering the lore around the card and the character, Marie did a lot of damage with very little risk. Only having to sacrifice one token to potentially do up to four damage to each opponent, plus drain us for one or two, was just nuts. As soon as that Cathar's Crusade came out, I think the game was over because no one had a way to deal with it. 
I don't necessarily agree with Max's assessment of my Bernard deck on that last turn. I was about to have a ton of mana, that's for sure, but my hand was mostly dead. I would have likely potted away the Rootwire Golem as opposed to turn it into a bunch of smaller golems, but beyond that I had nothing. I think this is a pretty great showing for Descana. It shows how well she pumps and draws cards, plus that addition of Aurelia being able to give valuable creatures Trample or Vigilance seems like a great fit for the deck. It's exactly what you want to do to help get your creatures through, and I think Max did a great job. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, but it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.